so this is where Sinema creates her mysterious army. areas of limits. Sunan, guide me.
done. The pigs run wild. for you, Sinmara. Be gone from here, please! Once Baldur is free, he and I shall feast on the roasted flesh of these mighty pigs. Now Sinmara will negotiate Baldur for the Salakar. And then, together, he and I will steal it back. Yes. My future may depend on it. Ragnarok is inevitable. To avoid it, impossible. But if there's one thing I know, impossible is impossible. Oh! You're back! Sinmara's plans lie in ruins. I just hope you know what you're doing. Surely I should be asking that of you. Now, tell me, what does it do? I ain't got a clue. These light elves and their sneaky. You've learned nothing? Whatever its use, the power it contains, it holds more than what you said. Such as? Well, for a start, there's a bloody dwarf in there. Anyone we know? No, and it's not important. Dwarf Hoogers don't carry much weight. Not even mine. So, what does it contain? All I know is that it's more than Malviger, Calder, and some dwarf no one cares about. Fine. In the stories, what was the actual point of the Salakars? Hoogers were what vitalized them. But it was the magic that gave them their purpose. And that magic was different to each one. Magic? You mean Seder? Nah, some elf shit no one knows anymore. Except Sutur. That fire nymph? She sent word. And? Your plan worked. Shinmara's ready to barter, if it means getting you out of the way. Where? At the bridge leading to Fagarda. Light the beacon, and she'll come out with your lad. The power that the Salakar holds. It must not fall into Surtur's grasp. Now uh, I'll reclaim it once Balder is safe. Oh, my back is killing me. That toil will never end. This. You have plenty of stuff. Make Brisha better. Give. I fix it. You bring that which is Sutter's. Give me what is mine. Mm -hmm. I will hand over what is his. Mm -hmm. Come midway. Don't 
for the illusion to have worked. Walter is behind one of these doors. Locked cells. I must find the proper keys. Prisoners weren't just lying around.
Truly, Kelther. Truly. You dare to torture my own flesh and blood. There, beyond that door, lies the dark heart of the prison. And my son. The High One brought low. Mistletoe. Symbol of hope. Renewal. But not for Baldur. We forced so many drafts down his gullet. His torment was quite beautiful. Blind fool. You never saw what was in front of you. Here is your child. His light gone before you even set foot here. And the rest of him? It now skulks in Helheim. Allow me to reunite you with your boy. No! <gasps> Traitor. I've seen dwarves with better stature. <laughs> Take care of it. Asgard. But you are an imposter. Heart as black as tar. Savage. Monstrous. You've locked that truth away. Built a code to act as its jailer. But the darkness cannot be kept hidden. It oozes out like pus from a wound. Poisoning everything it touches. That is what it means to be Odin the Deceiver. You're mine! You cluck and scratch like an old hen! Fire! 
fight! Fight! What is it? What did you see? All my struggles mattered nothing in the end. My son was lost before it began. His premonition come to pass. Your son? Baldur. Harvey's son. You know what I mean. 
so Baldr met his fate, as was foretold. Ever you have sought to elude the looms of the Nornir, but we are all caught in their weave. No, I will not believe it. There is more to see yet. Why was I thrown from my dream? Perhaps it was not the vision that rejected you, but you who rejected the vision. Perhaps you are afraid of it. I fear nothing. I think you do. And until you recognize that fear, give in to it, embrace it, the vision will not return. Some walls cannot be overcome by potions alone. Tell me what I must do. This saga does not end here. It cannot. Meet me in the forest when darkness lays upon the land. There we shall see how fearless you truly are. As the visions of Odin trouble me, am I alone in seeing them? Or do the tales of Svatalfheim hold some other meaning? Perhaps I should warm my bones by the fire, gather my thoughts for a moment. This is the spot. Now I need only wait for Volker to arrive. I will tie your hands now. What purpose will that serve? You are too much the warrior, Eivor. You will not recognize your fear until you are helpless before it. Drink. You say this will bring the vision back. Is that all? You mean to leave me here? Volka! This is... Why must I be tied? Walker! Loosening. Free. Now for the reckoning. <laughs> the invader is a nightmare of waking. One illusion set. Accursed phantom! Come then! You'll not find me lacking! I 
like fighting a river. Svartal fame, even after all these eternities away. I still hate the place, yet it offers me the hope of revenge. Sweetest of morsels. The realm has changed, but this is not Sutor's doing. It is something more. I must find Broker and Evil Lee. Better still have my Salakar nice and safe. Shelter fallen. These muspels are a plague. Salakar, have you lost it? Broker left the shelter yesterday before the raid even happened. Took the Salakar with him. Where has he taken it? Since you went away, he has become erratic. The Salakar, it, it sold the matters to him now. You should learn from his example. Now where is he? Where? The other night... He spoke of exploring the crater of Atri to seek out more answers. He takes the Salakar to Sutra's front door. Wait! Where have you been these past few days? Days. No matter. 
It's where I go that matters. And where is that? Atri? Wherever I can find vengeance. Calm yourself, Harvey. Collect your wits. An eye for an eye will leave us all blind. What do I care of eyes? my Salakar. Take it easy, it's right here, nice and safe. Wanted to investigate something, but then I tripped and... Can you walk? No. Then I shall carry you. Oh, gentle! Ah, I hate to bleed and sack of spuds, you know. What have you learned of the Salakar? Might just know how to use it. Of course, you going after Surtur. You'll most likely end up feasting in Valhalla. Valhalla? <laughs> it is for the feeble and the blundering. No, I shall not die. Worlds may end, but I, Harvey, shall abide. What about Sindri? You calling him feeble? What would he be doing in... Ah, yes, yes. He's there in Valhalla, of course. For one such as he, it is a great honor. Now then, this looks like a good place to put you down. So, tell me the Salakar's purpose. Mm. Having a clue? Can it kill Sutor? Well, that ain't its purpose. But yeah, I think it can. How? It harnesses the light. A lot of light. That was Baldur's gift. To turn day to night and back. Is that why Sutor stole his toger? Yeah, the others. They're just for balance. But, see... There is one more in there, like boulders, incomplete. Whose is this Hooger? Surtur's. An itsy bitsy snippet, mind you. I don't understand. I think, I think if the Salakar touches Surtur, the two will come together. The Salakar is already complete. Nothing gets in or out. A torn Hooger will always try to reunite itself. His might just be strong enough to do it. If that happens, he will become the Salakar. Then nothing can stop him. Only if he can control all that light. But I don't think he can. His old carcass ain't made for it. It'll be like trying to hold the ocean in a single hog's bladder. This thinking. How can I be sure you're right? You ain't heard all me workings out. Do you truly believe the coming together will be too much for Sutur? Uh, best try it when he's weak. Ideally dead. Well, not dead dead, of course. Just normal dead. Before he wakes up all over again. You've done well. Now give me the Salakar and leave this place. It is too dangerous. I ain't leaving. I come this far. Do as you're told. Friend.
No one, no one shall dare strike down the seed of Odin and lift to tell the tale. Here, fool! Your twilight comes. Still drawing breath? I have a cure for that. This is no place for dwarves. I've earned my right to see this through. I told you it would work. And there you are, doubting me. I, uh, I might have got it wrong. Just a key. That, on the other hand, have a key. You want the rest? Come, claim it. You really shouldn't have come here. You come and claim it. From the fire! I am the fire! Oh! 
So much for your grand plan, you fool. You sought to harness the power of the light. The power of my son! You would have turned you into the wrecker of worlds. But in this feeble state, his light will devour you. Return to the shelter and share the news of my triumph. Ah, oh, a sight for sore eyes. Smell that? The breath of liberty. My gift to you. Why are these sour faces? Would you rather remain fugitives? Hirokin! So the whispers were true. You were here in Svartalfheim all along. You have been busy, High One. Your vengeance floods the entire land like a raging river that has burst its banks. Why are you here? I too bring a gift. Dread rumors from Asgard. Rumors you would have heard had you not been so preoccupied. What has Loki done now? Escaped the cell in which you left him to rot. Unbound Fenrir, awoken Jormungandr, rallied hell, now raising an army like no other. Clearly, he has been busy too. Of course, Loki is not your only problem. Soon the gates of Muspelheimer will grind open, and its minions will emerge, demanding retribution for their fallen king. And let us not forget Suttungur in your name. Do you really think he will miss this chance to settle old scores? Your vengeance comes at a price, High One, and you and everything you hold dear are it. So there is to be a fight. I haven't lost one yet. You have heard of the Twilight Sword? Sutur's blade, destined to cut the sky and signal Ragnarok. I stuffed it down his gullet. <laughs> As I came here, a great beam of light rose from that lone tower, tore the sky asunder. Your doing, I assume? It is you who ignites Ragnarok. So it begins. By my own hand. Hirokin. A favor, please. Have I not already done you one? Not for me. For you. Go to that tower you spoke of. Within you'll find an elven marvel lying amid the ashes. Take it. 
why? It offers a way to deliver the one you have lost, yet seek to save. But first it must be emptied of those lost souls within. I already have a plan to rescue my love. There is always a better one. Now go. What is this trick? You don't care about her lost love. I care about Balder. If she can free him, even unintentionally, he may yet make it to the other side of Ragnarok. Ragnarok comes, yet I will abide. Though not as I am, and not in this body, I will not forget this life. Not one breath. I will always remember when Odin, son of Bor, father of Thor, was me. You should leave in so many starving... Well played, Loki. We shall have our fight. Soon enough. No, we are the fearless allies. They won't let us down. Tove, how have you been? The fire made me think of the myths and legends Sven loved. Would you indulge me with a tale? I would be glad to hear of Svartalfheim. I would not tell it half as well, but his favorite was a fable to remind us to find meaning in our deeds and not in how others think of us. Svartalfheim was not short of legendary dwarven blacksmiths. Everyone has heard of Ivaldil, Brokkr, and Sindri. But this tale is of a stonemason. He lived as far south as he could, where Gulnamar meets Vangri. His workshop sat upon the shoreline. Obsessed with glory, his love of masonry had all but died. He scoured the shore seeking precious stones washed up from other realms. Then he saw it. Something beautiful, glittering, shimmering across the water, upon an island he had never dared travel to. He hastily built a boat working long into the night. He set sail 
looked and found many rocks that sparkled and dazzled upon the island. He cried out in joy. To craft anything from such stones, he would be remembered for all time. Then he felt a sudden sting on his foot. Then another, and another. His eyes adjusted to the dark. So consumed was he by his desire for renown, he failed to realize he had walked into a nest of snakes until it was already too late. And so, clutching the stone that sealed his fate, there he died. Remembered, yes, but only for his folly. Fine tale, Toby, and well told. Sven would be proud. Whatever is the matter? Have you been spending too much time drinking Vulgar's special sauces again? I am... troubled... by visions of Odin and of Svatalfe. They... flood my mind without warning, without invitation. Aha! Which is how Thor flooded Svartalfe. Thor, fast to act, but not so fast to think would stomp and thump, and fight and bump everywhere he and Mjolnir should go. One day, he fought a giant in Jotunheim with such ferocity that Thor's killing blow was felt through all nine realms. The ground shook, mountains rose up, hills tore apart, creating canyons, and north of Svaladal, the massive lake that housed the springs of Yggdrasil split open, flooding all of Svartalfheim. The dwarf king, Kraithmar, acted swiftly. He built three mighty dams, preventing further damage to his realm, working alongside his beloved subjects. So surprised was one builder to see the great king working as an equal that he slept tumbling into the raging waters below. Without hesitation, Kraithmar leapt, once from his horse, and again from the center of the dam's lip, diving into the frightful torrent. Before the builder could even cry for help, Kraithmar was pulling him onto dry land. And so two giant statues were built to honor the king, one for each leap of unthinking bravery and stood until the end of days. Until Ragnarok. Aye! So you see, actions ripple outward, like a stone falling into a lake. Or like Thor crushing a Jotun skull with Mjolnir. Affecting everything, whether foretold or unknown. I... fear my tale has only worsened your concerns. Hmm. No, a good story is a log that feeds a mind's flame. Thank you, friend. In every great story, there is truth to be found. <laughs> I wonder what could be found in Svartalfheim in the place they spoke of. Thank you. 